What's up, ladies and gents? Take a look at this. That is right. We are playing Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts, a very, very early build that the developer CI Games has graciously enough allowed me to be able to show off to you guys. So, with that being said, I want you to know this is a very early build. There are going to be some glitches, some bugs, some weird things you see. Some things don't work, some things do. So I want uh, to give you guys some information on that, just so you know that maybe if you see something that doesn't work the way that it's actually going to work, you guys now know. So with that being said, let us begin. We're going to be doing a simple side mission here in this new level that I'm showing off exclusively for you. So what we're going to be doing is kill the Leonid... Newsliff. Hopefully I said that right. And we're going to go ahead and set the location of where he's possibly going to be, which is going to be right in the middle there. And we're going to begin. We're I'm going to set up a, uh, a nice infiltration point from the uh, tower here, the lighthouse, which is going to allow us to be able to kind of take a look at the land, maybe mark some enemies, uh, see if there's any snipers out there that we're going to need to take out before we actually start our infiltration. Now, I am playing this in 4K. Um, right now, I'm not getting too good of frames, um, but there's something going on right now that pretty much will not allow me to go full screen in anything but your normal resolution. Uh, and I've talked to the de developers about that. These are obviously bugs that they're <coughs> going to have fixed uh, that's just not ready just yet. Though right now, they're currently in the middle of fixing all kinds of you know bugs. They're, they're pretty much done with the game, but they're just you know smoothing things out. Seeker, we have new intel. We have learnt that Kurchatov ordered the secret police to bug his brother-in-law. Where is the trust these days? I love the parkour in uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior games, man. I wish other games would Im Im you know, implement this when you're in a first person. Alright, let's make our way to the top here. And use our binoculars. Vantage point. Lots of activity. Black gold has always attracted a large following. Obviously, mark as many uh, enemies that we can. I already see a few snipers. Nothing that we can't handle. All right. So first one's up. Right here. He's 198. So we're going to show you the new sniping mechanic in the game. We're going to go prone. Wait, we can get a good lay of the land. All right. As you can see, there's dots now rolling down. That tells you windage and droppage. So it's 197. You can see 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So that means you need to go right in between the 1 and 3, which is 200. And there's 4 meters a second downwind, but or uh, it looks like it's... Uh, not going to be too difficult, so this little tiny black line there is where we're going to want to aim. Perfect. Ooh, nice eye shot there. Now, obviously, the further you get, the tougher it's going to get. So we have another one. He's 295, so he would be right before the three, so we need to aim about right at this line. And you can see the windage is a little bit more, so about right in here. Perfect. Awesome. Now we can infiltrate without worrying about those specific snipers seeing us. <coughs> I don't think we have to worry too much about the other sniper that's all the way over there because, well, he's not looking in our direction anymore. Only take out the ones that you feel you are 100% absolutely going to need to. At least that's how I look at the game. So I don't want to move too close up. What we're going to do is get in this cold water here. I love the effect of the cold water. All right, we should be able to move past these guys now. Watch out for this guy here so he doesn't see us. And it looks like we're good to go. Now, we already took out the sniper that was right there and the one that was on top. So we can continually move freely through this back area. We need to head over here to our blue icon. That is the uh, waypoint that we set and it's shown on the bottom left. You can see it's blue. So over in this area is where our target is going to be. But we need to find a way to get out over there without having to go through the water because that would pro that's going to kill us. So we got these two enemies here. Let's try not to be seen. Let's get down as quickly 
Good. Perfect. We're out of their line of sight, and we can make our way back here. Now, for the purpose of these videos, I want to show off all the mechanics. So I've showed you a little bit of sniping. Now I want to show you some of the melee system, where you can actually interrogate enemies. But in order to interrogate enemies, you're going to need to go up close and personal. And we have our first perfect enemy here to interrogate. Man, this, it looks very, very good. I'm very impressed with how the game looks. Now, I know he kind of looks over in this area and he doesn't see me. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of stuff they're still going to need to work out in that area. You're going to tell me where the other soldiers are located. Sure, I'll tell you. They're over there. And, of course, depending on the difficulty that you choose, um, you know, obviously you can make the game tougher, more challenging, less challenging. Uh, this demo that we get to play, or that I'm getting to, to show off here, doesn't have a difficulty selector, so I have no idea which difficulty this is actually on. But we're going to hide the body over here, obviously, out of sight, out of mind. Now, normally you don't necessarily need to take out this enemy, uh, but we did it just so I could show off the game plan. We still have not found our target. But we can see that we have new enemies here, so we're going to hit T for binoculars. It's the only way you can mark enemies. I don't think you can do it with actual weapons, at least in this build. Oh, we got an That might actually be our target. he's the only guy that's actually in a different uniform. Probably just wind or something. This container stays <coughs> you, you think you can destroy us? Tell me where he is. <coughs> Somewhere, but... I don't know. This one's dead. Fine there you go. There's our target. And as you can see, Time when you do knock them out, it is actually a kill. So even though we made this look very, very easy, um, obviously it's not going to be as easy as we make this look. But... Out of sight, out of mind. These are dead bodies, so why not just throw them in the river? <laughs> Let them sleep with the fishies. So, not only will you have these main objectives, side objectives, and all that, but you also have other challenges and things that you can do, so this is a good chance to show them off. So if I hit M for the map, you can see the whole area of operation. Uh, and all the missions. The main missions are always going to be around these red boxes. You saw the red box around here, but we have completed that mission, therefore that box is gone. So then you have the red section here. This is where your main target's going to be actually located, right in here. And there is a secondary objective as well, right there, which is plant C4 under the icebreaker. However, we will not be doing this in a video because right now it is bugged. That mission does not work in this build. However, it will work in the main game. So that will be one of the objectives you're going to do under this map, which is going to be plant C4 under the icebreakers where the beginning of the ship is. We have another area here. This is where you will need to hack the electronic logbook. Um, X, X, you also have eliminate Igor uh, Sekov. That's going to be in this main area as well as obtaining the smartphone. So again, I just wanted to show off uh, this specific side mission here. So we're going to go ahead and exfiltrate. You can see where that is. It's going to be directly behind us. And once you complete a mission, you don't have to stay. You can complete it, you can exfiltrate, and that's it. You don't have to continually stay on these missions. You can do, I guess, a little bit of a time, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but it allows us to exfiltrate after we even do, specifically, this one mission here establishing connection and 
there you go. Now, as you can see, we didn't get, you know, that many points. All we did was get the 10,000 for the uh, Leonid. Uh, however, the challenges you will be able to get, uh, they don't really work right now in this current build. Um, there's bounties that you can do. There's collectibles. I mean, all kinds of things. And just, just this one mission area, and it's open for you to explore, to have fun, to do whatever it is that you want, and you get token awards and stuff like that. Obviously, you can complete this without raising an alarm with all contracts and you get 60,000 which is more than any of the other secondary missions uh, the main mission is 100,000 he's the main guy you want to take out but very very simple easy easy side mission that you can do uh, you can figure out there's different entry points that you can go in there's landmines in the area there that was on the right side if you wanted to infiltrate from that way we chose to go from the lighthouse and then make our way down the left side back around and that's how we were able to do it but because you can start from different points, and this is what I like, at least this is not going to be obviously in the game, but you can exfiltrate it, uh, and then you can still continue right now um, and do, you know, your other missions. So you can complete those, exfiltrate, and then come back and still continue on. I don't think that's going to be in the final game. I think that's just how this mission works right now until they have it all completely 100% done. But if you look at the map, as I said, there's different entry points that you can go to. Right here was that area where all of the landmines, so if you want to go through that, you can do um, and go through all the landmines. There's fast travel areas. So if we were to click on this, this would take us to another location. I don't know if those are necessarily unlocked from the beginning or if you actually have to find these locations uh, before you can do that. Uh, this is obviously another different location. I don't know what would be over here, um, but I'm sure there's some enemies that get you over here and then where it puts you on the map, as you can see, you're closer to this objective. I mean, hell, you could even fast travel right to this one. Loads up rather quick, right in front of a beautiful dude. So clearly, I don't know how this is going to work in the final game. But, uh, at least in this, right now, you can fast travel to these areas. You're gonna tell me where the other soldiers are located. Sure, I'll tell you. They're over there. <coughs> so, one thing I wanted to, to let you guys know, actually, about this specific, uh, area and location, is that when you come out here, first of all, look at that, that's so beautiful, right? That is like super beautiful. There is the main area over there. You can see the ship and that's where the main objectives is gonna be. But if you come this way, you guys know that this is our secondary mission. This is the one that where you need to complete the hacking of the computer. And we can already see a guy up ahead. Looks like it's a sniper. Now, one thing I want to take, I want to let you guys know. Notice how we marked him and then it went away. That is right. Really, really cool. They have uh, jammers. So there is a jammer currently on this level that will not allow you to mark an enemy and have it stay. You'll mark him and then it's going to go away. I was confused at first. I had no clue as to why that happened. I was thinking that something was wrong, that it was a bug. But no, they actually have. And you're going to be able to upgrade. Sure, I'll tell you. They're over there. You're going to be able to upgrade your items so that uh, you know this. And obviously, this is in the starting of a middle of a mission, so there was no way for me to know. Whereas you'll know, uh, there'll be something that will explain that to you. But you can see that there's a jammer right there. And I think that that is cool. That adds a completely new layer to this game that wasn't... I don't remember there being a jammer in the previous game. <coughs> but I think it's so cool now. You can see you can infiltrate here. As far as you taking it out, I'm not sure how. I'm 
uh, explode it maybe I don't know um, that's something you'll have to figure out but I don't know how to do it just yet but this is what I wanted to show you guys just wanted to show you a little bit I can break this yep that's gonna bring this guy over here and then we can knock him out really really enjoying this so far and I'm gonna be able to show you different maps and whatnot every month up until release so I'm really excited for that as well you're gonna tell me where the other soldiers are located sure I'll tell you they're over there There you go. Again, that's a jammer there that you're going to, I'm pretty sure, eventually be able to take out. But, uh, yeah. So that's a little bit of the side mission that we did over there. We're not going to do this one just yet. We'll do this one on another video. But let me know what you guys think so far. I'm really, really enjoying Sniper Ghost Warrior contracts. And hopefully um, you will see something in this game that I see, which is they've listened to the fans, they've listened to uh, the community about what to make a little bit different from the previous game. It's no longer a fully on open world. It's more like little open sections now, which I prefer so much better because that means that they can put more love into each and every map that they actually create. Um, so thank you again to CI Games for allowing me this opportunity to show you guys a little bit of gameplay and I will have the next mission up very, very soon. Love you guys, take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time. Peace out.